As the vaccine rollout speeds up in the US, millions of Americans are wondering when, and more importantly, how they will return safely to their workplace. Will employers require everyone to get vaccinated for COVID-19? And can they even do that? We have a history of employers requiring vaccines uh, from employees to make the workplace safer. For example, healthcare employers often require a number of vaccines, including the annual influenza vaccine. So vaccine mandates aren't that new. Generally, it's not controversial. But roughly a third of Americans say they definitely or probably will not get vaccinated. That presents a challenge to employers who have a legal duty to create a safe work environment. In December, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission clarified that employers actually can mandate their employees to get a COVID vaccine, but not in all cases. Employers face limits on the ability to mandate vaccines. If you have a valid medical reason not to get the vaccine, the employer has to accommodate you. It could mean the employee with a medical issue will have to wear extra PPE. But this legal exception wouldn't apply to most workers, leaving the decision back in the hands of individual employers. This puts them in the tough spot of forcing employees to make health decisions that they may not be comfortable with. Some businesses are using new apps and products that allow them to collect specific information about their employees' health instead. As people begin to go back to work, there really emerged a need for understanding, are people healthy? Sari Kaganoff studies digital health tools and how people use them. Many are now screening for COVID and other health measures. We have companies like Bina, which offer a smartphone solution through the smartphone camera to check your temperature, oxygen, saturation, and respiration rate, among other things. So you can look at that app, uh, which can be embedded in your employer's tool or technology. Just because the tools exist doesn't mean people are going to be comfortable using them. Only about 15% of people said they'd be okay sharing general health data with their employers. That number doubled when it came to sharing COVID-19 related information, but that's still not a big buy-in. There are a number of issues here. Number one would be just privacy. Not everybody wants other folks to know what's happening in their healthcare. But it does also open people up to, um, I would say, unconscious bias discrimination. But if somebody did know that you were sick, would that mean that that could have an impact on which tasks they gave you or which opportunities they gave you at work? And that can be both from COVID perspective as well as other types of healthcare information that they might find out based on this tracking. Even refusing to get the vaccine for health reasons could alert employers to private medical conditions. It's all part of a new relationship between privacy and public health. But I do think that we're in a situation now where we have to figure out what is the new normal. So thinking about what is the right balance and what are people comfortable with, right? So knowing that we're not going to go back to the way we were before. 